Welcome everyone to the Spring Boot tutorial. So this is the second part of Spring Boot and Kafka. So in the last tutorial, we have seen how to work with Kafka without Spring Boot. So this is the left part of my slide. So uh, in the beginning, we have downloaded uh, Kafka zip file. So it was the version 2.12. And we have started uh, Kafka Zookeeper, then Kafka Broker Server and we have created a Kafka topic, started a consumer and started a producer. And at this point, we were able to send uh, some data from the producer to the consumer. And in the second part of the last tutorial, we have uh, worked with Spring Boot uh, and Kafka. So we were able to publish message to a Kafka topic. So today we'll see how we can publish Java object to a Kafka topic in Spring Boot, how to create a Kafka listener to listen to those uh, Java object, and how to configure Spring Boot to use uh, to work with Kafka and Java object. So let's go. So just a little reminder. So the version of Kafka I am using is this one. So Kafka 2.12. So in the last tutorial, we have created a controller to be able to publish some data to Kafka topic. So here we are using Kafka template, just here. We are saying that the K is string and the data we want to send is a string, just here. And if you are curious, you can go inside Kafka template, read some documentation, and see some particularities about this class, Kafka internal class. So first, let's start the Zookeeper and the Kafka broker. First of all, I will go to my Kafka directory. So just here. Then I will start my Zookeeper server with this command start. And I am on Windows, so it's been Windows and it's a bad uh, script with the configuration of Zookeeper just here. So let's go. So here I have my Zookeeper launched just here. So the second step is to launch uh, Kafka broker just here. So my Kafka broker is running, no problem. So it's okay. Now we'll create some topic. So here, the name of my topic will be uh, V10, Java Grout V10. So please guys, you can subscribe to my channel so I can do more tutorial uh, and I will be more motivated to do more tutorial. Thank you. So I have just created a topic just here. The name of topic is Java Grout V10. So I will use this topic on my Spring Boot application. So now I can publish some string data to my topic and I have to create a listener. So to create a listener, it's very simple, Kafka listener. So here I will listen to topic data like this and the annotation is Kafka listener like that I have to give an ID to my listener so I can put anything like foo and the most important thing I have to uh, to give the name of topic to the Kafka listener so my topic is just here And here I will get my data. So it will be a string data. 
so here it will be void I don't need to return anything then so stem out print line my data and that's all for now I will be able to listen to Kafka message from the topic Java Growth V10 so let's go so now I'm using uh, I will use postman so now I will publish a message so the message AstraZeneca is weird stuff now today we won't talk about uh, corona and those weird stuff so Madrid will win champions champions league of course so now I will send my uh, data to my control just here I can put some breakpoint just here and I will start my project so please if you didn't see the last tutorial you have to check the last tutorial to uh, to get the first controller uh, to done in your project so I'm waiting the project to start and I'm good so there is some breakpoint to see what what will uh, be going on so now publish so I will send my message by my Kafka template to the Kafka to uh, topic and now and here in my listener Kafka listener I just received my message just here Madrid will win Champions League of course but Bayern Munich will be a rough team so here I am receiving my object so now I am good for this part I can send and receive some string data so now let's go on the other part to be able to send and receive object first of all let's create an object so the object will be a player so the player so string a player have a name a player have a team and a player have a max speed so max speed like this so here I am putting the team in string of course not time to play with enum not now maybe later so now I'm generating the getter and setter stuff generate and to string to be able to print my results generates so now I am good with my object so I will stop my project because I have dev tools and it's restarting every time I change uh, anything in the code so now I want to send an object so player player equal new player so I don't need this anymore because I'm sending object I will send it directly from here so the name of player set name the name is of course Ronaldo uh, let's add uh, some stuff so name and here alias so I have to delete the to string go here getter setter for my alias then generate a to string 
like that. So what is the alias of Ronaldo? So set alias, it's the goat, of course. Then set, uh, sorry, set max speed, so it's in kilometer. Uh, so it will be uh, 35, I think. And team Madrid. I know it is in Juventus, but uh, I prefer when he's in Madrid. So now, uh, take the data. So here, player to string. Here, I am putting player. And now I will begin to have some error. And in my listener, I want to receive a player. So player, player, player. Uh, let's check some stuff. Okay, and player to string in my listener. So here I have an error. Why? Because in my template just here, Kafka template, I am saying I want to send a string. If I want to say send a player, I have to put player in param just here. And let's clean a little those stuff just here. So here I will build a player. So it will be private player create goat player so I will put this here sorry and I will return a player the created player so here create player I will put this here and it's more clean and to be able to use this variable I will just put it here go to player I like that uh, so my method to be cleaner I will put it just here and that's all I will delete some unused import so now uh, we are not finished yet we will get some errors so we can start our project and see the error before uh, going further. So for instance, currently I don't have error. It's all good. So I will enable my breakpoint and use postman to send the first object. So here I don't need a body anymore. Uh, none. Okay. So here send. I have my player here. I will use Kafka template to send my player to my Kafka topic. And I am waiting to uh, receive this player in my listener just here. So go. So it's not working. Not working yet. So here I have an error, error publishing data to Kafka. So here it's, so we have an error. So I can do the same test as here, publish. So we start my project. Then send my player. Then I have an error. So serialization exception. 
cannot convert value uh, so we have to do some configuration so to be able to do uh, some configuration just here so first of first of all i will rename so what's that i have my yaml file just here and i have to put this configuration in yaml so here my bootstrap server is 1992 in my for my consumer i have put a value deserializer which is a json deserializer for my producer for the value serializer i have put json serializer and this is new in the recent version we have to put some trusted package so that's all i will restart my project and do the last test so i'm ready so disable breakpoint send so i don't have any error and my listener is receiving my java object so it's ronaldo the goat so now normally i will see in my console the player and that's all so that's the end of this tutorial about uh, kafka and spring boot so we'll see other tutorial with the other subject so please subscribe to the channel and see you on the next tutorial thank you